We will defend our people, our nations, and our civilization from all who dare to threaten our way of life. This includes the regime of North Korea, which has once again shown its utter contempt for its neighbors and for the entire world community. After seeing your capabilities and commitment here today, I am more confident than ever that our options in addressing this threat are both effective and overwhelming. President Trump declaring that our military is more than capable of using military options against North Korea if they need to. Now, his comments coming just before tonight's declaration from North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, who is now vowing that he'll complete the nuclear weapons program despite these sanctions. And this on the heels of North Korea's most recent missile test, which, by the way, flew almost 2,300 miles last night over of Japan. Here to discuss Rebecca Grant, president of uh, IRIS, independent research and a former secretary of the Air Force, and Fred Flight, senior vice president at, at the Center for Security Policy. Rebecca, let me start with you. Uh, just moments ago, Kim Jong-un putting out a, a communique, or at least something coming out of North Korea, saying that their goal is, quote, equilibrium with the U.S. What exactly does that mean to you? Equilibrium. Well, it's new that we're hearing he has a goal. He's always said he wants a nuclear weapon. He wants to be part of that club. And now he's saying, mm, maybe my missile program is almost finished and ready. But the other thing he said, he doesn't want to hear any more about the threats from a U.S. military option. This is good. This means we're really getting to him. Theresa May has not ruled You think this is a course. form of blinking, then? You think he's actually beginning to blink? I think he might be starting to blink. So we need to keep that military pressure on. On and let the UN keep working those sanctions. Right, and, I, and I gave you a promotion in your intro. You weren't. Uh, you were in the office of the Secretary of the, of the Air Force, right? Got it. Right. All right. Fred Flights is with us again. Fred, I want to ask you the same question because uh, obviously North Korea has seemed uh, their belligerence knows no bounds. Uh, they meet sanctions and UN action and even tough talk from our own president with more action on their part. Do you think maybe we're seeing them blink just a little bit here? You know, it, it could be. I still think the, the North Koreans have seen years of U.S. administrations passing U.N. Security Council resolutions and patting themselves on the back and then not enforcing them. But we have a national security advisor today who, say, who said there are military options for North Korea. I think that was extraordinary. That comment is going to reverberate throughout the Asia Pacific, and I hope it really makes a difference with China. We really need China's help. You know, the, here's the thing, though. Um, the last couple of weeks, we've we've read a lot of news out of the military of uh, accidents involving training missions and things like that. And it reminds us of just how dilapidated this military is that President Trump inherited, Fred. Uh, are we even capable of carrying out any sort of real military action against North Korea with a potential five million man army? I think we're capable of carrying it out, uh, but we have larger threats we're facing from Russia and China. There are readiness issues in every branch of the services. Uh, there has not been sufficient spending on aircraft, uh, or on ships. We know that our missile defense system is in trouble, and our nuclear deterrent. Did you know what? the average nuclear weapon in our deterrent is 27 years old, and we actually cannibalize old weapons to find parts for some of these weapons. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot we have to do to bring our military back up to up to speed. Rebecca, play it out for us. Uh, President Trump will be at the United Nations on uh, next week. Uh, he is going to call on other nations and, and I think including South Korea to also step up the pressure here. How do you see this ending? And I'm impressed with South Korea. They have said, put it on, do the diplomatic options, do the military pressure. I see this ending at the negotiating table. It may take us another couple months. There is, I think, a chance of some limited military Will we write action. a big check to North Korea, directly or indirectly? Well, you've got the point. We're doing sticks now. We haven't even started on the carrots. So I think we'll need some carrots as well in the end. All right.